We get a clip from uh, after Dynamite on Wednesday of Tony Schiavone interviewing Darby Allen and Sting, mostly Darby. Tony breaks the news to Darby that on when- this upcoming Wednesday in Seattle, he will get a TNT title match in his hometown. Darby talks about graduating high school in Seattle, weighing 115 pounds. He told everyone he wanted to be a pro wrestler, and they all doubted him. His friends, his teachers, even his dad. He listened to them, and he felt dead inside. Then he listened to himself, and he felt alive, and went on to win that TNT title. And he lost the TNT title. Now he's got a chance to get it back. He doesn't know if his friends or family believe in him. He doesn't know if Tony Schiavone believes in him. He doesn't know if his own hometown believes in him. And believes in him. He doesn't even know if Sting believes in him. And he looks in Sting's eyes. And Sting says, well, if I say no, then I'm like everyone else is saying, I doubt you. If I say, yes, I believe in you, then you'll lose the chip in your shoulder. And I don't want that to happen. Because Samoa Joe is a killer. To beat him, you got to dig deep, deeper than you've ever dug before. In the end, it doesn't matter what I think, Darby. It doesn't matter what your dad thinks. It doesn't matter what Seattle thinks. It matters what you think. Go win your title back. Shut your mouth and do it. And Darby listens and storms off. This was one of the better backstage promos they've done all year. It was yep. absolutely awesome. Darby was great. Sting was fucking great. And when it was over, all I could think was, I guess you could beat the guy, but that'd be really fucking dumb. <laughs> this guy needs to win the title in yeah. Seattle yeah. in front of his dad. So he yeah. needs to win in front of. He needs to beat Samoa Joe, become the champion, in his hometown, in the main event, that will be a great professional wrestling moment. But did you know that in January, WWE presents the Royal Rumble on the show will be what is being called a pitch black match. Why, you ask? Well, Mountain Dew apparently has a drink called Mountain Dew Pitch Black. And they got a lot of money. If it's all blacked out and nothing happens, we're actually the winners because, you know, we don't have to actually watch it. Jared, put a black thing on the screen here. It's It would be like if the match was like this for 10 minutes, and all you heard was, oh, ow, boom. Oh. No, Mike, stop it. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.